Welcome to Canis Design Systems Pointwise Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. In this video, we'll discuss two ways of trimming quilts. Let's jump right into Pointwise. Here we have a model that has already been assembled and the quilt boundaries do not all line up. For the sake of this example, I would really like these sharp feature edges to, along the lower portion to extend throughout the entire model. To do this, we're going to use both the Trim by Surfaces and Trim by Curves commands. So first, I'm going to create a couple of trimming planes. So I'm going to go to create planes and I'm going to use the three point option. I'm going to select two points that are on this feature edge. I'm going to go select my third point on the opposite side, apply, and I'm going to do the same thing for the other uh, diagonal. And okay. And now we can see we have two new planes. Um, I'm going to select the model go to edit, trim by surfaces, I'm going to select my planes, and imprint. And we can see that for the most part this has been successful. All of the toroidal rings have now been split up along this feature lines, but this spherical portion on top uh, was not trimmed. So let's look at that a little more closely. I'm going to select just the two quilts for the spherical portion. I'm going to go to create intersect and again I'm going to select my two planes and intersect and we do get four intersection curves which is a good sign so let's look at this let's turn off the mask and zoom in to the top and we can see that there is a gap and this is why the trim by surfaces was failing so I'm going to fill this gap by creating two database curves um, to connect up these lines and then I'm going to, for good measure, project everything onto those two quilts and project and make sure the interior only option is turned off. Okay, so now if I just select those quilts and go to edit, trim by curves, I have six intersections six curves that are selectable. It's the four intersection curves plus the two I created. If I imprint, I can see that I do, um, it does get split up along those feature edges. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button or subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, drop us a line below or connect with us via LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.